Okay, theme from Shahrazad. It's on page 78. There's actually a horrible story that's um, associated with Shahrazad. Um, it's the name of a woman uh, from Arabian Nights. So the story goes that um, there was an evil king who would uh, do one night stands with uh, maids of the country. And um, after one night stand, he would kill them off. Sounds pretty awful, right? Um, a whole new level to Me Too movement. Anyway, and then the lady, a wise lady named Shahrazad comes along and she says, wait a minute, don't kill me. Um, I'll tell you uh, wonderful tales every night. So, you know, the uh, Arabian Nights is a collection of the tales that she, you know, tells the um, king. And the story goes that supposedly a happy ending um, that he decided to marry her uh, after many many nights <laughs> okay of being entertained with stories um, it sounds tragic actually the, even the ending for her um, she survived but why would you want to marry a guy who used to kill off women after one night stands maybe he um, she changed him for the better yeah so anyway it's got this uh, rolled arpeggiated chord. It's got a little like a squiggly line in the left hand. And what you do means, you know, let's take a G major, for example. You literally like roll. So you roll your wrist and then it's important that you relax. So it doesn't sound like, like that, but so you kind of go room, you play with your wrist. And it sounds really good, like almost like, you know, strumming. Of some harp and with the pedal you know so it's got that so that might take some time to practice so I'll probably practice that with um, pedal so let's try that uh, left hand only maybe just the first page um, be at first because first and second page um, are identical uh, except that right hand moves up an octave and then is there a... yeah so it's actually almost exactly like it except there is a little coda at the end the very last line is kind of an added in um, addition kind of thing to um, have an elongated ending so the form of this piece is a and the a prime and coda all right so you will label them um, the very beginning will be a and the a prime starts on measure 16 and the coda is not until measure 32 Okay, so label those in and then let's practice left hand with pedal. If you don't have pedal, just make sure you roll and then you hold on to the chord. You can't let go. So one, two, three, hold, two, three, one, two, three, roll, two, three, roll, two, three, and now T sharp. And when it says pedal symbol, it means pedal in the same way. So one pedal per measure. Notice fingering change to one three, and at measure twelve, a lot of people play this as G major. It's an E minor down here, and then A C. So you have shifted. The shift actually comes in measure eleven, where you had uh, you have one and three um, on B and G, as opposed to three and five. So you're preparing for the E minor in the next line. And you remember this is the unit on dotted quarter note. So dotted quarter notes come in the right hand melody. Um, it starts in uh, on B2. Okay, so it goes one, two. Now here is dotted quarter one and two and three. One and two cross over B2, three first phrase, rest. Now it's a variation on it. E, D, E, D, C, D, C, D, cross over, two, three. Let's just try those two lines. Going a little fast, aren't I? So first beat is rest and it's allegretto. So not terribly slow, not terribly fast. Uh, it's a little slower than allegro. So like a medium, medium fast, but slightly faster. Okay, rest. B, C, D, two, and three. Now B, we're gonna cross over. B, two, three, 
lift the eighth notes. Pass over two, three, move to E. Make sure that all the Fs are sharp. It's in the key of G major. beautiful tune. Um, when you put it together, it's even better. One, two, I will do first time without pedal. Left hand's tied. Now one, two, three, roll. Roll. Now D sharp. One, two, three, one. Exactly the same now, right hand comes down for the coda. Retardando, three and one. And both hands shift to the right, left hand is G, D, and right hand is B and G, and then we're gonna play them together. And it's pianissimo, and it's held um, until the sound disappears, and then you take that off. Right, isn't it a too beautiful of a piece to tell the story of the evil king? I mean, there's more to it than that, I guess. Um, it actually is a theme taken from a Russian composer named Rimsky Korsakov's, and he's the famous one who, you know, wrote the the flight of the bumblebee. Okay, a lot of you really like that, and um, it's a, he wrote an orchestral work. So it's originally written for a big ensemble, and this is just an arrangement for the solo piano. Okay, hope you enjoy this gorgeous piece. <laughs> 